Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Coordinate Systems. In this CAT Power video, I'm going to show you how you can convert a 3D polyline into a 2D polyline and also have full control over the target elevation vertex. For example, in this case, we have a 3D polyline here and you can check the elevation values. Each elevation has got a different Z value and let us see how we can convert this into a 2D polyline. So under CAT power polyline tools there is a section here called change 3D to 2D and 2D to 3D. So we pick up the second option here which is 3D to 2D. Now this dialog box lets you specify the target elevation value. For example if I say set to 0 I'm going to get a polyline in which all the vertices have an elevation of 0. Now this is probably what users require most of the time but we will also explore the other options where you can see how different elevation values can be set. So we remove this and make a copy of the original polyline which is here and we go back to change 3D to 2D and I'm now going to set the elevation as lowest Z. So it's done it. So let me just list this polyline and you can see that the lowest Z value was 2.5 so the elevation of the 2D polyline is 2.5. Let's try yet another option. So I'm going to say this time I want an average of all vertices. So I select this polyline and say OK. If you go to the command line you can see the status it says how many polylines were ignored how many were processed and how many polylines are in the active or previous selection set. So this gives you an idea as to how many 3D polylines were processed successfully and what is this changed. So if you go to properties you can see that the elevation constant elevation is 23.922 which is derived by finding the average of all the vertices. So this is a versatile command which allows you to change 3D polylines to 2D polylines and also have full control over the target elevation. The command works identically in BrickSCAD as well and is available in the same location and with the same set of options. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions. This command works in GeoTools also. It's a common command between CAT Power and GeoTools. Thank you.